Hello everyone, it's been a while! Yeah, not the Creed song since I made a video on the channel and for that I deeply apologize. I know I, I said I will be doing some stuff, but I didn't. I lost track of time, I was busy, busier on my French uh, media outlet like uh, YouTube and Twitch and sadly things got in the way and for that i apologize then i didn't want to just how you say how would you say thrive on that guy with the glasses shit storm you know i didn't want just to make my take on that situation at the time and then make video to build on that i i was really happy to see the numbers of followers and stuff like that increasing but I said, it's not for my content. It's basically because I took part in saying what was wrong with that guy with the glasses at the time. And then I lost interest. And again, and I apologize for that. But then today I was like, I, I want to talk about two certain YouTubers. One of them is Canadian. The other one is uh, American. But I wanted to talk about them. But I could, I, I can't on my Twitch or my YouTube channel because that would make no sense to people following me there. So I thought, hey, you know what? I love NBA 2K. I, I really deeply love this game. I've been invited to many events when the game was released. I was invited for 2K 17, 18 and 19. And every time it was a great experience. I was invited to in London for the NBA game between the Washington Wizards and the New York Knicks. You can find that on my French YouTube channel, you know, that it's a lot of of shots and there's an interview with Karen Butler. It's in English, so you pretty much can follow it, I believe. Uh, that wouldn't be too much of a problem. What, what did I win? Ooh. And I thought, yeah, you know what? I can start, actually, I have the luxury to start from the bottom because I had a bit, a tiny bit of following when I was on Daga with the glasses. I had my tiny audience and it was nice and fun. Then I switched to YouTube uh, friends in my country and I had a bigger following there. And then it dwindles because I was careless with it. I didn't water the plant, if you want. So the last year, I've has been a little bit rough, but I'm trying to rise up from that, you, you know, not just to say, well, I give up then. No, I'm trying to get better and make good, good content, good videos. And then I thought, hey, I, I got this English channel with people, not a lot, but people that still follow me there. You know, They made the effort after all this year to come back and see what I was doing. And that's nice, but I'm not giving them anything. That's shit. <laughs> So I saw today, hey, you know what? I actually have the luxury from starting from the bottom. So do that. So I thought, hey, I love this game, NBA 2K, and I can talk over it. You know, my, my brain goes in uh, auto mode when I play this mode in particular in my career, because right now I'm just trying to grind. I'm just trying to grind to success to level eight, uh, 91 and to get all those all of them badges. So it really takes no effort on my brain to do that, so I thought, hey, maybe I can address those issues in a tiny video with a bit of gameplay in the background. I mean, if you like that, please let me know in the comment. I would, I would be really happy to see you guys saying something in the comment. And then I thought, you know what? I'm going to talk about a certain topic today. And if you want to give me other topics uh, to have my opinion or just my take on it, please, uh, again, let me know in the comment section. I would gladly try to talk about it while playing the game because it's fun. I'm enjoying it. If you don't want to see my face too, that's another topic, you can tell me. If you just want to see the game and hear my voice and my delicious accent, please let me know. So what I wanted to talk about today is two YouTubers uh, that I enjoy. They both related to the NBA, to the, the sport of basketball. But if you don't like basketball, I mean, you can still watch because it's a bit of a drama, but I, I really needed uh, to say something about it because it bothers me a bit. So those two person are Agent Zero from Toronto, Canada, and Mike Rosemba. I'm, I'm really doing stupid thing right now. I'm not focused on the game at all. Mike Rosemba is doing like analysis of the NBA or story about players, why they disappear, why they are thriving. I mean, he, he does a lot of different subjects and lately he's been playing a lot of NBA 2K live, I guess, on on Twitch and stuff like that. So he's really into the community. He's giving a lot of guidelines how to play the game and that's fun. And Agent Zero, um, Agent Zero, it's a bit more complicated. Agent Zero is kind of a troll, I guess. It's the one saying it, you know, it's not me saying it. He, he, he likes to poke fun at people, but he's also doing a lot of community video because he likes to talk in 
in-depth about the game. What is the game about? The problem with the game. He likes to address problems that affect the community and sometimes 2K doesn't listen. So he does a public service, I guess. But I, I enjoy both those YouTubers, really. I'm subscribed to the channel and also to Troyden. I love Troyden. Troyden is the best. He's from Halifax, Nova Scotia, I think. Like what, one of my best friend Phelan. So that's fun. Those three guys make content about uh, NBA 2K, but I'm not going to talk about Troydan because he's out of the equation. Again, check those guys' channel, I would put them in the description because they make good content. And Troydan, I think, is more suitable for anybody because his content is about a video game, but he makes a lot of comedy out of it and it's really funny. So a few days ago, Agent Zero released a video basically poking fun at Micro Zamba. They were supposed to play one-on-one -on -one in the park or something, I don't really grasp everything of the video but basically uh agent zero is like i'm going to prank him i'm going to pretend it's me playing but it's actually going to be a uh, stizo i believe uh, I, i'm not sure about the game again sorry if they ever cross past these videos and i mispronounced your, your name sorry i'm really sorry but it's a stizo is apparently an amazing player i mean he's really good at iso you know dribbling the ball and stuff that's a really good player so agent zero is like hey mike we're going to play one-on-one -on -one to see who's the best but the prank was that Agent Zero gave his account to Stizo, which is a very, very good player, and basically made fun of Korzemba breaking his ankles and stuff like that in the game. So I made for a really, and that's where it bothered me, awkward situation where Mar Mike Korzemba lost his cool. Like he was furious because, you know, he was getting owned, and Agent was making fun of him, saying, well, you're trash, you're not that good. And Mike Korzemba, like Agent said, is really, really, really a competitive guy. He doesn't sit on defeat well. I think Korzemba is a Chicago Bulls fan and probably a huge uh, Michael Jordan fan. And it shows. If you lose a game, he immediately wants to play a game to win, you know? Uh, and so this video kept on being so cringy at some point because Mike was, was furious. An agent was still poking fun at him, even though not playing him. And then there was kind of a shitstorm on Twitter. A tiny shitstorm, but I mean, it was embarrassing to see those two guys that actually, I believe they met. They probably met during NBA 2K related events. Maybe they are a bit of friends, but in this video, it was so trash. Like, I didn't like it at all. Not a single bit. It was... It was just Mike being furious, being shown as a loser, a sore loser, an agent just playing him, you know? And I know the logic would be like, oh, well, Mike is the one being uh, an idiot because he's getting angry, and on Twitter he kept on talking about it. He then later apologized, so kudos to him for that. And agent is so smart because he made fun of him and blah, blah, blah. But then again, I was like, no, no, I hate prank video. Again, it's a matter of taste. I hate pranking videos because it's usually someone mean-spirited, making fun of someone that actually don't know what's going on. It's terrible. If you're doing that as a payback, let's say someone played you and then you make a video to play them. It's only fair, you know, as long as it's good intent of, ha, ah, you had me, so um, I had you now. So, okay, but if it's just like, hey, this guy has no idea, I'm going to set up a meeting to do something, to play together, but I'm going to trick him by making him lose against a better player. That's a bit shit. And that's where I stand like, they're both trying to defend something that's undefendable. Again, I'm French, so I'm using my card of it's not my language, guys. I'm sorry, please correct me in the comment section. Because, okay, yeah, Mike come out as a really sore loser. Okay, he doesn't like to take defeat, and I guess he's a bad winner too. You know, kind of people that, even when they win, they need to win a certain way. In French, we would say with panache. I don't know if you use this word too. But. Like, if he just win barely or not with the style or manner he wants to, he's not happy with it. And I can understand that. It's something I'm actually myself trying to work on. I hate, I hate to lose. But I'm trying to work on that because every time I lose a game, uh, my stream on Twitch is shitty. My girlfriend tells me, well, yeah, you lost, but you've been so annoying about it that you became a giant shithead and your audience didn't like the stream. So don't do that. Work on that. And I'm really trying, you know, to... So that's it for Mike. He came out as a sore loser. Even though he's a good player, you know, I mean, if you follow him a bit, you know, he's a good player, so he can happen to lose. But in this video, like, Agent was so trying to, to push the buttons to make him angry. So it made me uncomfortable to see Mike, which he, he seems like a lovely guy, you know? And to see him being so angry about it, I was like, uh, that's, that's, that's awkward. 
Well, I'm still going to watch his video and stuff like that, but... Uh, and in the other hand, uh, I don't think Agent come out at the, on higher ground, because he's the one doing the prank. And like I said, I don't like pranks. I, I mean, it's the lowest form of humor. I hate it. <laughs> you know, I hate it. But some people like it. I'm like, I can understand that. But for me, it doesn't stand. So I, I watched the video entirely. So I guess it worked on the clickbaity side, side. But I didn't enjoy it, if you catch my drift. And on the other hand, at some point in the video, I mean, agent is fair. He said, like, Mike is a competitive guy. So that's what he, he admits it. But, on, in the other end, the entire thing was like, Mike was saying, Hey, Agent, I'm a better 2K player than you. And Agent was like, I don't believe it's true. I think I'm better than him. He, he dropped that really quickly in the video, but then he never addresses it. Like, he, he never said, Hey, I'm going to play against Mike fair and square one day and we will see. He doesn't say that. And that's what's bothered me. He just say, I think I'm better than him, but watch this 20 minute video of someone else playing for me. Why? Don't you have explained to Mike after he got pissed and then say, well, I played you, it was a prank, but now we can play. You versus me, fair and square, and settle that once and for all. But no, he didn't. So he came out as a coward. I'm sorry, agent. I, I mean, I like your videos, but in this particular case, you really come out as a coward because you never proven what you said. You're better than him? Oh, okay. Show me. So that, that really is bother me with this video. Like, <laughs> you know, pranks are just mean spirited. You can do like a nice prank. I don't think it's possible, you know, to do to do something well spirited about a prank, uh, or else maybe catch a predator. But that's a whole different topic. Mike had a couple of angry tweets, but then he deleted them, saying, "Well, yeah, I, I shouldn't get angry. He played me, got me. There, there you go. It's done. I'm sorry. You apologize." But agent never addresses it. Then again, and just made this really awkward. I hope they both can work this out and have an actual actual fair game. If they don't, I mean, the whole situation is a bit shitty. I mean, everybody knows the 2K community doesn't have a really well, um, a good image. I try to not interfere because I'm French, you see, so I don't have a lot of contact with the North American 2K community. But I hear a lot of things, you know, I follow it on Reddit and, and see like that. And it, it seems a bit toxic. And if you guys, which basically are uh, well known, your, your faces, you represent a bit of that 2K community. If you keep spitting at each other's faces, it doesn't show a better image at all. I don't like that. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry if I come across as a bit bitchy about it, but it wasn't fun for me. Or well, at least do a follow-up video, you know? I, I don't know. And Mike complained saying, well, we were supposed to play for four hours, three hours, and I was supposed to make a video out of it, but now it's unusable because the video is shit and stuff like that. I mean, it's there where I agree and don't agree with Mike. I agree because, yeah, you, you plan on doing something and playing against a well-known YouTuber that plays good. So that would have been a good challenge and stuff like that. But Agent had other plans. I mean, yeah, okay, but keep the footage and do something else. Do a follow-up video where you actually apologize of being angry in Agent video and explaining why and why and why. You can always do something with content, even if it's not where you were intended to do. I hope Mike didn't delete the footage and kept it and do something different with it, like here's why I got angry, maybe I shouldn't have. Agent played me, but now I'm making a call to have my revenge. Fair. And Mike complained about losing money. And again, I can understand, if he had certain plan for that video and it didn't pan out, yeah, you lose your time. Like this video I'm doing right now, I'm recording footage, but if it comes out and, I don't know, something went wrong or with the recording or stuff, it's wasted time and i understand that and then again i hope Ange agent seems like um, a good guy i mean recently i, I saw a video where he talk he talked about his gain of weight because when he was a bit younger he was at college he was wasting th thin but, uh, lean you know but now he's being he's a little bit fatter but he say i prefer to be fatter and in the state of mind i am right now because he is uh he's better you know in his brain, he said, yeah, I want to be fit like I was, but I don't want the brain I had back then. And I enjoy, I mean, I like that positive attitude and that mentality. That's nice. So it doesn't seem like a bad guy. And again, I understand to an extent he's using the right amount of clickbaity kind of content. You know, 
just the right amount, not too much. Uh, 2019, you have on YouTube to be a little bit clickbaity about what you do, or else you go totally unknown. Uh, you all know that mean-spirited videos are doing better than just pure positivity, care bears, fluffy hearts videos. It's way harder to succeed. And I know that's why this video will be completely uh, forgotten and ignored. And I know that because I'm not trying to be mean. I'm just like, come on, guys, shake hands, be better. You are better than that. Just prove it, please. <laughs> and any agent is always doing these kind of really dramatic titles and video subjects. That's something I enjoy to an extent. You know? But I know he's not mean spirited. Every time he does a video about 2K saying, oh, 2K did this, they're going to disappear, 2K did that, they're going to lose a lot of money. I'm, I know he's using those terms just to have a bit more views, and I understand that, and I have no problem with it, because I know the content of the video is not that dramatic. He's doing actually well thought out uh, process to say what's wrong with the game and what can be improved. And if he has to do clickbaity title for that, well, do it, man. My guy like you say. So I'm going to finish my training session. I'm not going to do a full game because I don't have a lot to talk about. Uh, I just wanted to make a, 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 a tiny, like really simple comeback video. I, I didn't want to do something like overly processed. So that's why I'm doing this really simple easy vibe video. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you discovered uh, three amazing YouTubers thanks to it, maybe. Please go check their channels. I make really good content. If you like video games or basketball or both or just entertaining people, because I think with my core Zemba, you can learn a bit about basketball because he has this really well written uh, critique reviews about basketball. Always really interesting. And Troy Dunn is just funny. Agent is really more specific to NBA 2K. So if you play the game or, or if you are mildly interested by the game check his videos too i hope you enjoyed it please let me know sorry for not being around so much lately i will try to correct that as soon as possible i hope you enjoyed this video please leave a like if you did and leave a comment more than anything leave a comment and on twitter i have a, a secondary twitter now for english people so if you want to see me there i will reply to you because i can mix both french and english it's a bit messy so thank you again for watching this video and take care, bye.